Good morning tubers. So I tried to do a good video yesterday and it was horrible. <laughs> so th this is going to be the replacement for the horrible video yesterday. It's another horrible video today. I tried actually doing the um, the cells. I needed to remove these three cells here to um, flatten them out and then replace them with the bad cells. These ones. Well, the, the lesser quality cells. Um, only to run the old Jehu light and the cells aren't flat yet so <laughs> and it made for a horrible video so I'm just basically leaving that running until those batteries go flat in the meantime I actually got this all set up which I'm absolutely stoked with it's working really really well it's really really simple the the um, it's it just works so basically this is the way I've set it up. I don't know if it's a recommended way, but it's the way I've done it to test it because I just wanted to make sure I could do it all and stuff like that. So we've got 12 volt power supply. We've got 12 volt rail coming out, feeding it. Now that will go from 12, That this input will actually do 12, 24 or 48 volt. So if you've got a 12, 24 or 48 volt system, it's going to work across all of them, powering directly from the battery bank. So it's really, really efficient to actually run this device, which basically means I can get rid of 30 watts of electricity D AC I don't know what that is DC but this is DC obviously all my stuff down there is AC so what have I got okay so I got a 12 volt laptop charger something like 2 amps or something 3.3 amps or something max so that's actually charging it so that's coming through this cable here into the buck boost converter the buck boost converter into the batteries and I got the buck boost converter set to 12.6 um, volts so it's still charging up and as you can see there it's fluttering away so that's um, the cell one two and three so that's cell one two and three for the long ones and you can just see the green indi indicator lights happening so what I'm going to try now is I'm going to replace say cell one with a cell that I know is overcharged and we'll have a look what the what the software does here there you go. So I've got a couple of cells here that I think, well, a cell here that I think is overcharged. So I'm going to replace pack three. Um, there's not much to this. I've just it's a bit of bit of, bit of redneck, but it does work. Okay. So as soon as I break that circuit, the BMS stops, and of course these holders are notoriously horrible to get in and out. Okay. So I'm going to put this battery in. So it works perfectly. Put this battery back in again. Oh, what have I done? It's not working. What have I done? Oh, no. Okay, so I've got a red light. got a red light on that cell <gasps> ah no <laughs> oh no I blew it up I've blown the whole lot up <sighs> I put it in the wrong way I put the cell in the wrong way That can't be good. How do I make that phone call? Um, okay, so I'm going to assume that I just put that in the wrong way. Actually, I've got new errors up on here. What have I done? The bottom of the screen there. I've got a little... I, don't, I, I, I just don't know how to read all that. Something there must tell me what I've done wrong. Uh, and this, this this comes from me not understanding the software. So I've got to I do I do need to learn some more of this stuff. Okay, 
Now I've got a heartbeat down the bottom, which means this is still wirelessly connected to the BMS. So what have I done? Uh, I really, I really, I'm a little bit embarrassed right now. Okay, so what do you do? Okay, I'm just going to try this again. I guess it's already. If I've done something bad, it's already. The damage is already done. Um, okay. Maybe I didn't blow it up by putting it reverse polarity. Okay. Okay, so I put that reverse polarity. I put the cell in upside and it's still working. And you can... I don't even care about the screen that you can see that it's balancing now. It's still bloody working. Okay. So so that's cell one. So one, two, and three. I think I did two, one, two, and three last time that way. That's... Well, it doesn't matter. That's the cell I changed. So the red light indicates that it's actually balancing. Which means it's burning off power from that cell. And that's... Work. How does that work? I have done that to BMSs before and smoked them. Okay, it's time. I'm going to upload this video. I'm going to actually upload this video regardless of that result. I shall make a call to Jaron once he wakes up and try and find out exactly what I did or didn't do since I have it on camera and I can't really hide it. And because um, that was reverse, pro it come up. It, um, I don't know. Sorry, Jaron, if I broke your software or your hardware. Can we put it down to learning? I'm not sure. Anyway, tubers, on that note, I'm going to leave it there and make some calls. Cheers.